What's up guys, Reefer NYC back with another video. And today we have a quick tank tour of my, my Reef Sensei, my Reef teacher, my Reef mentor. Uh, what size tank is this? It's a 125 gallon tank. 125 gallon tank, SPS dominant, crazy looking fish. We've got some Ghanis, we've got, what is that? The green slimer, acropores I can't even name but we've pretty much got everything in this tank. You've been in the hobbies for like 15 plus years, right? Yeah, it seems like a long time. Yeah, he's, uh, he's the one that actually introduced me to saltwater fish tanks. And now he has two in, his and two in his house, in his basement. So we have this one, which was we said is 100. 125. 125, and then in the back, we'll show you later, is a fish only tank that has a bunch of tangs and wrasses. But yeah, this is the main display in wall tank as you can see but also he has entrance from the back which is what is that the what you what do you call that That's the boiler room the boiler room the tanks in so the now boiler. he has his whole fish tank set up in his boiler room he has his quarantine and he has the fish tank here with his sump and as you can see he's using the black box leds which just tells you like you can have success using these cheap leds but otherwise, look, I mean, this tank is perfect. He has some Nassau tangs, got some Rasses, some purple tangs. But yeah, this tank is amazing. Uh, I see you're running a sump. Uh, what do we have in a sump? Is it just Chato and It's just skimmer? Chato, only Chato and a skimmer. Chato and a skimmer. That's it. Which kind of, is that the like, like cheap LED as well? That's like a cheap LED from Amazon. Cheap trying Amazon this, LED. Trying to do this on a budget here. Yep. This is a huge budget reef tank. Except for the MP40, which I got used, but you know. MP40. Got two MP40s. Two MP40s. There we go. Cool. Uh, how long has this tank been up? This tank has been up for actually two years, but before that, everything was in a 55 gallon tank. So it was a, wow. everything was moved over to this tank. Yeah, everything looks super healthy. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, this is where I get all my, my fresh frags from. Whenever this is reaching the top of the water, <laughs> you always have to cut off some for me. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, this, a lot of the corals have been fragged a lot. Yep, he's fragged the red Ghani that I have in my tank from this one as well. And it's healed up real nice. It is, yeah. I'm gonna I remember, frag that torch for you too soon. Jeez, yes, the gold torch right there. What is that? Is that, um, That's like a elegance, elegance, right? Elegance yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, the polyp extension is crazy in your tank, too. It's, it's a monster. Look at that polyp extension. I can't even get that in my tank. What are you, what are you dosing? What do you, do, what do you do to this tank? What's your maintenance? I just dose the um, ESV right here. ESV? Okay. Is that the Alpha Reef? No, the Bionic stuff. The Bionic, yeah. Just yeah. the calcium, magnesium, and alkalinity right there. Yeah. All the basics, and you manually dose. You don't even have a dose or anything. Yeah. You know, this guy's an old school I'm reefer. Old school reefer He's right? super old school reefer. <laughs> this tank just for quarantine, obviously. Yeah, that's a quarantine. Those are two new guys in there. Yep. Yeah, hey, let's check out. Let's turn the light. What do we got in here? What do we got? Let's see. There's a copper van and another Moorish idol. You and your Moorish idols, man. <laughs> that, that's a good. Is that one trying to go in a display too? Can you put two in a display? No, unfortunately they can't. Yeah. I try it, but they, they get really aggressive. Jeez. How old is this one? That guy's uh, almost four years old. Looks beautiful. Man, the streamer is crazy, too. Keeps getting uh, cut off, though, by the power head. <laughs> so it keeps coming back, though. Damn. Wow, amazing. This guy is about four years, three and a half years old. He's three and a half years old. Check out his booboo, though. Check out his mouth. That's from... Uh, he likes to jump and he jumps into the netting. You should call him, that's just, call him Scarface now. <laughs> that's just part of the fish character, you know. Yeah. <laughs> got some yellow Fiji, some caps, pink bird's nest. What else? We got another elegance. But yeah, he's taught me everything I know about reefing. Oh, he's taught this... me a lot too. Yeah, we teach each other we a share, lot of stuff. Exactly, share knowledge. He's taught me all the cheap equipment and what works and what doesn't work. <laughs> Honestly, I've had the black boxes on my first tank, and it was growing perfectly fine, too, but I'm a gearhead, so... Hey, personally, I really would like to upgrade. Don't get me wrong, but, you know, I'm yeah. on a budget. <laughs> yeah, he's got kids to take care of, so... Absolutely. Kids, insurance, bills, you know, you know the whole deal. 
But this is just to show you that, you know, yeah. you don't need the top of the line stuff. You got here. the, what's the supplemental lighting? <laughs> so, that's just the current marine orbit LED, like real old school. I just got that there for like a Extra dust blues. dawn effect. Okay, yeah. Or just for fun, because, you know, it has like a Like a moon, moonlight kind of thing? <laughs> yeah, from a moonlight thing, exactly. Nice. It doesn't really do anything, it's just for looks. But yeah, yeah, guys, I mean, you can tell, like, all his corals are super healthy. Cheap LEDs, manual dosing doesn't get any easier than this do yeah. you do any like sand bed cleaning no actually i think one of the trick is just waiting for the your tank to get established and you know once you go through all those allergy issues and once the tank stabilizes you really don't have to do much to it yeah. it just stays clean don't get me wrong though the sand is probably full of poop <laughs> it's probably really really dirty yeah it doesn't look like there's much movement in the sand but there's a lot of movement in this part so it's like yeah maybe just like stops like right you there you know what i do do is occasionally i stir the sand up a little mm -hmm. bit so it's like get some of the detritus they say that's kind of beneficial to the corals so what's your maintenance really water don't... changes or anything like that i try to do water change once a month once a month maybe about i don't know let's say 10 percent well i do it i have like 20 gallon buckets uh bins or brute the brute, brute trash yeah, yeah so i think that's 20 gallons yeah so what is that that's what 20 percent, right once a month once a month yeah say less once a month but you not honestly, much you, you, it really depends on you know you can just tell you can just gauge the tank how much when you need to do a water change he, he's enough. he's one of those where if a coral is starting to die, that's when you do a water change. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like us old school reefers, we can tell by our tank. If something's not looking right, that's when you start checking parameters and doing the water changes and stuff. The best indication is when you get that green film on algae on the glass. Uh -huh. That's what this Trastillon mag float is for. This extends my water change. Do you feed heavy? I do feed heavy, actually. Manual feeding too, guys. Like I don't see any... <laughs> exactly. We're going to feed right now. Yeah, let's see these fish eat. Hi to you, guys. What do you feed? I just feed pellets. Pellet food a for all his fish. Pellets. Yeah, all of them are super fat. Just like your fish. Your fish yeah. are nice and fat too. Yeah, I feed only pellets on my tank too. Never been a fan of nori because this is a pain in the ass. You just like clip the seaweed in and nori everything. Nori is a pain in the butt. But I do feed um, the Hakari Seaweed Extreme, which is I think made from nori. Is that the one where you, that's, is that a pellet or the, the stick? It's a pellet as well. I know there's the ones where you put on the glass too. Not sponsored. I'm not sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, his tank is not sponsored. All my all my sponsors, look at this tank. <laughs> Upgrade his equipment. Upgrade my... Upgrade all of his equipment. I need some radions. <laughs> <laughs> radions will work on that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, look at his tank. Budget build. Tank is used? Tank is used too. Actually. Used tank, used equipment. Used equipment. Actually, no. All right, the Viper Spectres aren't used. That was. But those are cheap them. though. Those, those are like hundred something. Those were cheap back then. They actually raised the price now. Wow. I think back in the day, these were ninety nine dollars each. Yep. Like yep. on Amazon, remember? That's when I bought I them too. I think that's when I referred you to. Yep. When you were first got. Yep. When I first my first tank in the city, I bought those because they were budget LEDs, and everyone had great reviews on them too. But really, they're a great review. They're they're a great budget. Um, like for someone who wants to get into the hobby yep. and then you know if you like to if you're a gearhead or like to tinker and then make adjustments then you know you can get more advanced lights yep. but I just like to turn them on yeah I tend to mess with my tank way too much <laughs> so I have to have like the latest equipment and everything Nothing you don't have that much coralline in this tank I scrape it a lot though even like your pumps it's like white I too it's not scrape it. I cleaned that pump right before you came oh that's why <laughs> He didn't. He didn't do it for me, guys. That's, that was. It's the end of the month, so this is monthly I'm maintenance. I'm constantly scraping this black wall, though. Look, you can see the specks of coralline growing. I constantly scrape this. Uh, you know. But yeah, guys, that's his tank. Anything else you want to tell these people? What is your? Uh, I guess what's the main key to success when owning a reef tank? Well, it depends on uh, what you want to keep, but I think the best tip is just patience. Which a lot of people don't want to hear. Patience, what is that? Patience oh man. Is the truth, Hate patience. Yeah. <laughs> and I think keeping it simple too, like guys, like he doesn't have that much equipment. Like you guys throw everything on here and like soup that's the bolts and everything, like I he's running a simple tank. I think another good advice is uh, form your own judgment. Gather all the information you want and make your own judgment call. You know, there's no there's no right or wrong way to do this hobby. You know, there's a million ways to do it, and they all can equal success. 
It's just how you want to do it. Just follow one of them. Yeah. Not all of them. Exactly. I've seen or, that. I've seen that said, and like everywhere, like there's a there's a million ways to approach something, but if you follow every single way, your tank's gonna fail. Yeah. Just stick to one something that works. Is that, but I think like when you say you touch the bar, keep it as simple, and that's kind of like my motto. How often do you put your hands in a tank? <laughs> Too much. Too much. Yeah. I try to not put my hands in a tank. When you have, when I go for extended ways of like not touching the tank, my tank tends to. Do, do better, but obviously he put his hand. Do you wear gloves or anything? No, I just stick my hands in there. So they're just, just used to it. That's yeah. the extra dosage. Yeah, <laughs> you know, you give it a little bit of a sweat. Yep. A little a yep. buffer, natural buffer. Yep. Guys, I'm gonna wrap it up. Thanks for having me as always, my Reef Sensei. No problem. Thank you for coming. Just want frags of everything. We'll put them up on eBay. Thousand no dollars a head for that gold torch. <laughs> But otherwise, catch you guys later. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments, questions, leave it in the comment section below. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.